Hey guys, this is Bryson with Pyramid Outdoors, and before we get on to the video, I just want to say that this is the present me, and the videos that you guys have seen, about three videos, is the past of me fishing and hunting, and so uh, my dad's going to be helping me with some of these videos that I'm going to do, uh, like filming and doing stuff that I'm not very good at, and showing you tutorials how to do, like flaying fish and stuff, and so today's video is going to be about how to make a primitive smoker and we're gonna smoke a trout and I'm gonna show you uh, the marinade I'm going to use to smoke the trout and the wood chips I use so hope you enjoy okay so while that trout is defrosting um, this is how I made my primitive smoker. I'll show you here. So my grandparents gave me this tripod with this grate. It's kind of hard to see. And then I'm just putting these evergreen, it's kind of sagebrush kind of things around it. And so I've just made this open so I can put my trout in. Then I'll put maybe another piece on. And then I'm going to get a little coal base here. Don't put any dry wood or anything in there. And then I'm going to put wood chips in there, like apple wood chips. And I'll show you uh, the brand I use. These are the wood chips I'm going to be using. And it's, these are just the mesquite wood chips. And they're like finely crushed in there. And so, uh, in my opinion, these are the best. Okay. This is our appetizer. We're going to be doing a stuffed mushroom. This is how you do it. First, just put a little cream cheese on there. About three pieces and just spread it all around. Then, put some Lowry's garlic salt. It's our favorite. Okay. Then, more cheese on it. Some well. mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then to top it all off and make it better, yeah, let's top it off with some bacon. Put a little bit more cheese on there. Okay. So we're going to preheat it to 325 and once that's preheated we're going to put it in there for about five minutes and we'll see you when it's ready now we're going to fillet the fish start right behind the backbone there it really helps to have your fish still kind of frozen if it's um, been sealed up for the winter and definitely use a sharp knife yes I'm pop through the bones there a little bit Okay. And there's a fillet. Now we got that. Now we're going to do the marinade for this fillet. First, we're going to add some soy sauce. That's good. Add some spicy. Uh, chili oil with some chili flakes in it. That stuff. Don't add too much of this. It's pretty spicy. And then some oyster sauce. Some 
Okay. Now I'm gonna put the fillet in. Seal it up. And get it all around. Up. And now we're gonna put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes and let all the soy sauce and everything get into the meat and we'll see when we start smoking it. Okay, so it actually took about 10 minutes and we added a little bit of jalapeno because our family love, loves that. And we're gonna let it cool down and we're gonna eat it in a little bit. Okay, it's all done. It's all cooled down. Looks good. Mm. <laughs> that does good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll have to make some more of we those. We haven't had these big ones before. We always had the small ones. Should definitely try it. <laughs> okay, we got the marinated done. That's our fish in there. It is absolutely looking great. And so this usually takes about a couple hours to smoke, but we're only gonna smoke about for half an hour to an hour. And and then after the hour, we're gonna drop it down and get a nice sear to it. And so I'm just gonna put this on. And there we go. Starting to smoke. See ya when we're gonna drop it down. Okay guys, this has cooled down, and I'm excited to try it. Snap this off. So here's a piece for me. Oh, looks good. Thank you. Here's a piece for the cameraman. So let's try it. Mm. Not bad at all. Mm -mm. Better than I thought. It's actually really good. Yeah, it's, a, it's got even a little bit of that juniper from the primitive mm. uh, smoker you put around with all the branches. Right? I'm, yeah. I think it'll be really good with uh, cream cheese and Trisket yeah. crackers. And we didn't have any of those, so... Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you on the next one.